I know all about hoodoo. I grew up in the system. We call it obia. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it deals with some other stuff too. But hoodoo is a very powerful magic, especially um, anybody can learn hoodoo. But for black Americans in particular, this is your spiritual systems. Well, one of your spiritual systems that you really need to learn. Brother Yusef, see what's going on. Man. I see people marching. You know, people fighting. I've seen what happened to the brother. I'm doing my shit, right? I'm getting busy over here. I'm at war. I'm, I'm, I'm doing war shit, right? I don't know what everybody else doing. Even if you don't know a lot of spirituality, man, try something and put something on his ass. And like I said, I ain't the only one doing it. I've seen on the asteroid what people putting at this man. And all of a sudden, they're now he on suicide watch. Because people fucking him up. I just, I'm just keeping it real. So, so anybody out there that may feel like brother, you said wrong, and you said, man, I don't care. You gotta understand that guilt shit don't work with me. I don't, I don't feel guilty. Guilt holds you down on earth. One of the best, one of the worst ways to mess up your 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 curse spell or your hex spell is to change your mind while you're doing it. You start feeling regret, or you start feeling sorry for the person. I don't. I learned what that energy is a long time ago. Right? If somebody do something wrong to me, I'm getting you back. I for an eye, two for a tooth. Right? If I see a brother, innocent brother or sister, an innocent brother or sister that can't fight for themselves and they need help, I'm fighting for them. I don't care what I got to do to that person. Right? I've been doing this shit for years. You see any karma coming at me? You know, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm down here living like anybody else. I know how this energy works. That's all I'm saying. I don't have no regret. I don't regret, you know? And, and as you move forward in 2020, sometimes some of the people that you know you was cool with, you want to let them go, right? I love all my friends and people I've been cool with for you. I love you all. But if, if a person ain't on the same level as me as far as like where I'm moving in life, I got I to gotta, I gotta let your hand go. You better climb that mountain, you know? I can't keep pulling you up the mountain, you know? And you have to get on board with this energy, family. Right? Get on board with Mother Nature. Right? Get into the sun work like Brother Yusuf talked about, y'all. Talked about. Create that uh, personal altar like Brother Yusuf talked about. Absorb light. Right? Get on the frequency of the fourth dimension. I know, you know, it's a lot going on and, and people, you know, while people was out riding, you know, later that night I was doing work. So all I'm saying is, you know, it's... I fight different, you know? I fight different, family. So, you know, I want y'all to understand that. If you are a indigo child, a, a flower child, a crystal child, a rainbow child, your weapons are spiritual, not physical. All right? Your weapons are spiritual, not physical. You're not supposed to be fighting with these. All right? Fight with your, fight with your uh with your spiritual tools. So I really want people to understand that, right? This is what we're doing, right? This is what we're doing, you know? Motep Nebula, peace, my brother. He understand. <laughs> he understand. So, you know, I just want my family out there. I want y'all to be encouraged, man. You know, I don't want y'all to lose, to lose sight. You know what I mean? I want y'all to lose sight. I want y'all to stay focused. I want y'all to stay focused on what's going on. Feathers is up, right? I'm at war, you know, but you got to be a metaphysician to see me walking down the street with this shit. I'm, if I see somebody walking down the street with this hat, I say, they're at war. If I walk into court with this hat, they know I'm at war, right? Everything is symbology. All the metaphysicians talked about that, you know? You know, this is a uh, toy voice means something, right? This is a uh, tiger's eye. Right? I got skulls on here to represent the ancestors, right? I got skulls on here. This right here is the Turtle Island. This is a turtle, right? This Turtle Island right here, right? This is what Brother Yusuf represents. We live on Turtle Island. Uh, America was taught, uh, the earth was called Turtle Island before anything else, right? So um, in the indigenous culture, we believe we live, in turtle, we live on Turtle Island, right? We live on Turtle Island. 
So this is what it is, family. Right? When you are pushed into a corner, your power is never more powerful. You just got to know how to use it. So what I'm saying is if you angry, turn that into a power. Your hex spells ain't never going to be more powerful than when you angry. Somebody don't kill somebody and you upset about it. What are you fighting for? You just going to go to jail. Right? We wizards. We magicians. Right? We don't fight with our hands. Brother, you said to stop fighting with hands. Don't get me wrong. If I'm, I'm from a situation, I got to defend myself. You know, I do what I got to do. But brother, you said to stop fighting with his hands a long time ago. We fight with our power, family. Um, is it? I mean, for some of y'all people, they used to be Christians. It wasn't it written in the Bible? And a lot of stuff in the Bible is true. That we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, right? But spiritual wickedness in high places. I used to be a preacher, so I know this stuff by heart. <laughs> you know, we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. Even the Bible is telling Christians stop fighting physically. So what the hell are you doing as a spiritual person, fighting physically? You know, and I want people to understand it because a sister, a sister, uh, messaged me not too long ago and was telling me that you know she ready to take it to the Malcolm X. You know. <laughs> The, the Dr. King thing ain't working. The Dr. King thing never worked. Aspects of it worked, but the whole design never worked. It was made to keep slaves in control so we wouldn't rise, we wouldn't fight. And they're trying to push that same agenda to say, no, somebody kill you. I, I'm, a, I'm the nicest guy in the world, right? I respect everybody, but you better believe if somebody kill, if that was my brother or my father, I'm going, I want blood. Fuck all that nice shit and, you know, but it ain't gonna be with these, right? Right? The wolves has been busy. So yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I kind of, I mean, if he could be a suicide or not, I don't care. I know what I'm doing, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't the only person doing this shit. I've seen the energy around it. I ain't the only person doing this shit. So it's, a, it's a lot of people that's fucking him up right now. You know what I mean? I seen it. Demons, gins. Everything I'm seeing on his ass. <laughs> I've seen it, man, in the astral world. People are sending everything at his ass, man. I mean, the video was horrible. I mean, the dude, when I seen it, my heart was broken, right? You know? I'm not saying I did nothing to nobody, right? I'm saying I visit people. That's all. I don't fight with these, family. That's what I want y'all to understand. Study your voodoo. Study your hoodoo. You know, study your Yoruba. You know, connect with the energies. Connect with the gods, man. You know, in a situation like this, I like hoodoo. Real hoodoo works real well. You know, you don't even need the deities to, to tap into hoodoo. You know, get into your shamanism, your hoodoo, man. You know, I, and I want peace, and I'm right back to peace again. Right? I'm right back to peace. Right? Another thing the Bible said is that the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, right? Everybody know who do uses the Bible. So don't think, brother, you still talking some Christian shit. Because this is what so-called the Bible is telling Christians. So you as a spiritual person, no wrong with if you want to march. I mean, that's cool. But if you're talking about you want to take guns and shoot somebody, you don't fight like that, family. You are, you know, you better, you you spiritual. Use what you was born to use. You weren't born to use that. You was born to use your, 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 your weapons. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal. Right? They're not physical. They're spiritual. Tap into your spirituality. What's hoodoo? You gotta <laughs> you don't know what hoodoo is. You better look that up. You know what I mean? who want to learn some form of uh, magic where you can learn all the modalities to protect yourself, how to work with spirits, how to learn how to channel, how to work with herbs, oils, incense, um, you know, ancestors, all of these things, you um, can start with hoodoo, okay?